<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes. Welcome to another episode of my Minecraft survival series. On this special Halloween episode, we are going to convert a witch hut into a giant Halloween wonderland. All right, and I'm... <laughs> I'm here in my room. It's Halloween, so I'm wearing a mask, right? Actually, I should, if I took this stuff off, you'd probably get the better impression. Yes, I'm an Enderman. So because this week is Halloween, I've decided to find and renovate a witch's hut. And I have materials here left over from building the docks in the last episode. I've got dark oak logs. I've got a whole bunch of spruce logs. I also uh, packed up all my jungle logs and all the acacia logs that I've been uh, farming from my orchard outside. And then I went over to the nether and I uh, tore down a portion of the nether fortress that, uh, a nether fortress I should say, one that I'm not really planning on using. I've also got in my inventory a bunch of pumpkins so that I can create more jack-o'-lanterns and uh, hmm, obviously it looks like I'll need some more torches. So I've been thinking about how I want to rebuild a witch's hut and what it should look like. And in some extent, it should be like a kind of semi-organic hodgepodge. So what I'd like to do is build a hut out of some scary looking things like nether brick and uh, nether rack, maybe. But then I'd also I'm also thinking about using organic stuff like mushrooms. So I wonder, is it possible to tear down some of these mushrooms? Let's see. Oh. Okay, so that just destroyed the block. But I wonder if I get them with Silk Touch. Yep, yep, that gives me the block. Okay, that's good. All right, so if there's no monsters around here, I'm just going to grab all these red blocks. And frankly, I'm going to grab those stems too, because they could be useful. Now, as you may be aware, witches' huts are traditionally small, and I don't necessarily want to make a huge witch hut, but I do want to make it cool looking, and I do want to make it a little bit more useful. So I think I'm going to, these uh, red mushroom blocks, if I can place them correctly, are going to look pretty great. So between the last episode and this episode, I actually kind of cheated, and I went back to the Badlands jungle area that we discovered a couple episodes ago. I managed to find a couple witch huts not far from there and I've decided that one of them I'm going to remodel for Halloween. All right, so now I'm descending in my base here, which is looking pretty solemn. Looks uh, pretty crazy at nighttime because it's not lit and yet it's all spawn proof. All right, now I'm gonna cross over into the nether and from the nether, I'm actually going to head back to the Badlands. There it is, finally, oof. Okay, let's go to the Badlands. Okay, now that I'm here, I'm going to locate the nearest swamp hut. All right, so negative 296, 668. All right, here's another plains area. This would be like a great area for a city over here. This is a really a biome rich area. I mean, look, it's like taiga, plains, dark oak forest. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. I love exploring the world in Minecraft. I just love it. Oh look, over here. So here's the swamp. So our witch hut. There it is. There's a witch hut. Nice. All right, so... Oh, there's the witch and there's the black cat. Each of these huts spawns with one. Looks like it's already gotten out of here a little bit. So very quickly, I am going to prepare to sequester the witch by getting some rails and a minecart in my hand. Uh, I think it would also help if, uh, okay, so let's get out some name tags. Yeah, name tags, let's get two and let's get an anvil. All right, let's um, 
Let's name the cat. What are we going to name the cat? I say we name the cat Esmeralda. I have no idea if that's how you spell Esmeralda. <laughs> Sorry to any Esmeraldas who are watching. And then I'm going to name the witch um, Gladys. I'm going to try to pacify this witch first. Ah. Okay, and then get in a cart. There you go. All right, great. Is she still throwing stuff at me? Oh, she's still throwing stuff at me. Okay, uh, let's see if I've got... Oh, I don't have any milk. Uh, let's go get some milk and let's see if I can get over the status ailment. Oh, I probably should have planned to put her underground from the start. All right, I'm going to take... Another couple of hits this way, that's fine. And hopefully we can go over there and get her in that hole. Oh look, there's the cat. Hey, let's name the cat while we're at it. We were going to name the cat Esmeralda. I don't think the cat actually becomes tame until you feed it, but giving it a name tag will help it to keep it from despawning, that's for sure. I'm going to see if I can... There we go. All right, and now... Ah, I still take the poisoning, even though... What? Oh, man, she's... Oh. I put her in the... I put her in a hole right there. Oh, how do I get her out of that? All right, I really need to go find a cow. These are sunflower plains, obviously. That's the only place sunflower flower grows, and there's some cows. Hello, and it came from the milk. Thank you. Oh, I can't believe I'm trying to save this dumb witch, dumb witch's life. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, so. Alright, I think I've got her successfully contained so that I can start building. Alright, so the witch hut itself has a spawning platform that extends two blocks above it and two blocks below it. So this is right here is literally the lowest spawning level, this first log in the water right there. Alright, so we're going to tear out the witch's hut from there up and we're going to put platforms right here and then I'm going to build the entire witch's hut so that it extends this way and then we're going to have a giant tree coming out of the water below it and then growing up around the hut and combining into a giant tree above it and I think that's going to be pretty cool and then we'll just decorate the rest of the area with uh, jack-o'-lanterns and you may be asking yourself, why do this? Why to go to all the trouble of preserving the witch? Why go to all the trouble of trying to figure out where this bounding box is in which witches can spawn? Well, the fact of the matter is, what good would it be to build this witch's hut and then not have any witches in it? Especially on Halloween. All right, so this little box that I've erected around the whole structure indicates where witches can spawn in this area. So I'm going to try to preserve that area by enclosing it inside the hut. Uh, we'll add a roof on top there and we'll add a couple levels here and we'll keep it nice and dark so the more witches can spawn. So I've got one level down here for spawning. I'm adding a mid-level because witches, it turns out, despite their hat, are actually only two blocks tall. A little less, in fact. Uh, and so then I guess we just have two blocks up there and then I'm going to make the roof right up there. So, huh. Actually, I guess there could be a third level, if you think about it. 
All right, so now I've got three spawning pads for witches on three different levels. And then I'm going to build like a front of the house that extends out this way. This right here is going to have to extend out far enough for the witches to walk forward and drop. So it's going to need to be, this front extension is going to need to be at least that high. All right, guys, so now that I've got the spawning levels all set up, I believe I'm going to build the shell of the hut around it in a third person time lapse.
back guys so I've got the frame of the main house the back of it uh, up here uh, I've had a couple of struggles as you probably noticed uh, but I did come up with some things that are pretty cool like uh, on the fly basically I just sort of started using mushroom stems as the lower wallpaper and also if you put another white mushroom stem up against here and then take it off you get this strange kind of remove pattern and adding brown mushrooms also makes this makes it seem like the house has warts just like a witch's face so i thought that was interesting i thought those were good little touches um and i do have the three spawning platforms encased and we are getting spawns in there so while i'm working on this i have added some torches here just so that i can continue working but i've kind of hit sort of a roadblock of sorts with the front of the house um, if i do it down at the bottom here it's just kind of too tiny as you can see there's really only like three blocks between these two spaces even if i bring these out it's still like a five by five protrusion and it's a little difficult to shore up um, also this house isn't coming out quite as organic as i thought it was it's very flat here and that's kind of influenced my build so i think what i'm going to do is use some dirt to kind of naturally build up this area and it's okay if uh, some of these blocks get covered but what i was thinking is uh, lifting this whole area up like like at least three high so yeah and then uh, let's see we'll come up that high and grass is already spreading on it of course and it's looking pretty good um, I think that's good so I think we'll lift up the entrance to the house and then we'll have a little path coming out of it obviously I'm gonna have to fill some more of these little water holes in the swamp here uh, yeah all right so I'm gonna put in the earth I'm gonna have it actually kind of shape off and touch on that area so some of this under here might actually get buried but that's fine um, yeah all right so I will keep working on this and I will come back when I've got something that I like all right guys so I'm back really quick I've got a update I have added the little uh, protruding front entrance on here with a nether brick doorway uh, we got to leave it open otherwise the witches won't be able to get out uh, I've taken down my torches so they can start spawning again once we get grass blocks replacing all these dirt blocks here I'm gonna go ahead and use my shovel to carve out a little path like that meanwhile I'm going to start on the exterior uh, right now you may have noticed the roof and you may have been thinking well that's a little monotone however I did break it up with uh, some blocks and I can see right now that those blocks right there are entirely too much in a row <laughs> certainly didn't mean to make them so aligned so I'm gonna take one out here and one out there and just kind of switch these around however it did occur to me that um, this could be considered too monotone and I thought about making a bunch of acacia stairs and blocks to uh, to sprinkle throughout the roof there just to add some patches and I may do that later but there's still one more stage that we have to uh, go through here and that's building up the giant magnificent tree which will uh, the roots of which will enclose the witch's hut and the tree of course will grow up into the sky and just to show you what I'm gonna do with this giant tree um, my thought is is that we'll probably have uh, hmm, oh, these are like half slabs so this is a good starting point as any probably have a giant kind of tree trunk here and then we will have roots growing down from it and uh, I'll replace these corner pieces with proper uh, wood log all right so yeah I put this scaffolding in place where it's probably in the way we're just gonna have the tree root here come straight down to the waters level like that 
and then we might have it billow over one more and then we will have it go down into the water all right and when I uh, then we can go through and we can replace these uh, corner pieces like this with the four-sided wood logs and then we just get kind of a nice complete root goes all the way up so yeah that's what one of the giant tree roots is going to kind of look like you can actually have more roots stem out from that one and grow down to the water so i'm going to work on that for a little bit and then i'll come back okay guys now as the sun is going down hopefully you can uh, sort of see what i'm getting at uh, lots of witches spawning in this area, so even though I've still got Gladys trapped over there, I've got another witch below me, so I'm uh, sticking to the trees for safety. Uh, so let's get up on top of this one, and then you can see the house from this angle. As you can see, I use jungle logs to like create the roots. I know they look kind of massive, but uh, Minecraft's never been a game about per perfect perspective anyway. Uh, on the back side over here, some of them I've got them grown out and then it just looks like it's been cut off there. But some of them I have grow out and then curl upward. Uh, I'm going to jump to that island over there in order to let you see the roots coming off the back of it and everything. And then I'm going to do a quick fly around just to show you what's going on on the top there. So as you can see, I've sort of formed all of the roots up into this one giant tree trunk. And uh, I'm going to build this up and then we're going to top it off with a whole bunch of jungle leaves. I chose the jungle wood because it's kind of greenish looking and it contrasts really well with the actual jungle planks and stairs on top of the roof. Uh, but right now my main problem is, is that I'm pretty low on jungle logs. I think I'm going to have to go head back and chop down some more. Alright guys, so after some Herculean efforts to travel over there and keep restocking on jungle wood and jungle leaves, I think I finally have something built up here that I'm starting to like. I think maybe the top is a little too flat. I think maybe it could use one more level on the top and then I'm going to hang some more... Uh, vines from around the side of this and then I think it's gonna be looking pretty good all right so as a final touch I have brought some of the heads that I've been collecting I just got two witches heads I don't know is it like appropriate to put witches heads outside a witch's hut hmm but anyway uh, it's time to do some pumpkin carving I certainly don't think I need 64 pumpkins so I think I'm gonna take this many pumpkins and I'm going to set them down and carve them and you know just in case you don't know how to carve pumpkins you want to set them out like this grass permitting like a so and now you grab your shears and you just start going around and shearing them and they should turn like that well some of them will anyway and they'll drop their pumpkin seeds there we go and now these can all be chopped up with the axe and they should all be carved pumpkins. And now we just go into our inventory and we can turn them right into jack-o'-lanterns. Looks like I did miss one after all. All right, so we're gonna spread the jack-o'-lanterns around and uh, I'm going to put some of them on the ground, but some of them I'm going to hang from nether brick fences that I chopped down while I was in the nether. All right, yeah, and then we can just put some like at random spots like here on the ground we're decorating for Halloween 
They should go everywhere. All right, so I guess the heads will only go on the top of the nether brick fences, so we are just going to put them out here as a little warning, both to the undead and to the pillagers in the area, that they have no business being here. And we'll put a pillager right there. Yep, that's what you get for attacking my base, buddy. So it's getting pretty close to sundown. I want to see what this looks like at night. Oh, that kind of scared me for a minute. I thought that was a pillager or a witch sitting there. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, man, yes. I am taking screenshots. That is awesome. Oh, man. What says Halloween more than a haunted witch's house? <laughs> All right. I am going to go free Gladys over here, and then we are going to get out of here before this place becomes swarmed. All right. And then we're just going to kind of take that, release her cart there. Oh, I think I just... All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Hope you enjoy the remodel, lady. <laughs> yeah, check it out, guys. Oh, it's a Halloween Wonderland. <laughs> Uh, I wish those vines had had a little bit more time to grow. But uh, otherwise, yeah, this came out pretty well. I think if I had a little bit more time, I probably would have put some grass on the roof underneath the tree. I think that that would have made it look a little bit more legit. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you like this. I'm going to go over here and try to get in this tree in the hopes that it's safe. Yeah, happy Halloween, guys. I hope it's a great one. Thank you, and have a great day. And if you like this episode, please let me know. Please also leave any comments or feedbacks you have, and have a happy holiday. Bye.